home has been on my mind for uh, quite some time as we've anticipated this move. Um, and just having moved around my whole life, home has been something that's uh, been very important to me. Okay, home. If you listen closely, you can hear a house breathing, the way it sways from side to side or back and forth, like a mother rocking a child in the strength of her walls. If you pause for a moment, you can see the dust that collects like clockwork on wooden floors, the morning light that climbs its eastern windows, entering the dining room where fine china and champagne flutes glisten once again, the forgotten relics of our past lives. Stoic and silent, like a woman forbidden to cry out in labor. A house contains our noise and tension, anticipates our movements, the footsteps moving down the staircase, creaking in the same places so we know who is coming. A house speaks most clearly in darkness before dawn, the children still asleep, the dog snoring at my feet, her ears twitching in dream. Its whisper rises up from the foundation from the bones like a witness reluctant to break the silence, to tell the secrets absorbed in dark hallways and forgotten closets. It says, life is what you make it, the colors you choose to paint, the scenes you choose to frame and hang on walls for display, the joys that expand like warm air, rising up from one floor to the next, the sorrows you share in the confines of a room, strong enough to hold them.